Hey guys, my name's Christian. This is my Costa Rica highlights part one. So this was our Airbnb for the first couple of nights. It's called a yurt apparently. I've never heard of it before but it was amazing to stay in. And just further down the coast we had the whale's tail which is what the locals called it for obvious reasons. It's this cool little sandbar that opens up on low tide and this really cool rock which I had to make Chelsea get up and do a specialty. And despite coconuts being about $2, I decided to climb a coconut tree and get one for free. And this right here is why you don't climb coconut trees. And then I figured I'd go full caveman and try open one using just a rock. Chelsea thought I wasn't working hard enough, so she gave me a mini champagne bottle to open as well. And the five milliliters of coconut milk really made it worth it. So the next morning we drove over to our next destination. We stopped off at Crocodile Bridge. And we couldn't resist but get another handstand shot with this beautiful sunset in the background. And this is why you get out the car when you need to land the drone. So the next stop was Monteverde where we stayed for a couple nights and it was amazing. For our Christmas Day presents, we decided to do some bungee jumping. They had the bungee jump and then they had the big swing as well.
Then we stopped off at La Fortuna Waterfall. Don't rip me if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Our next stop was Tamarindo, definitely one of my favorite parts of this trip. If you're ever in Tamarindo, I really recommend this company. They do group and private charters. The private charters are about $1,000 a day, but the boat can hold, I believe, 20 plus people. So if you've got enough people, it can work out really reasonable. It's also all food and drink included. Thanks for watching guys, bit different to what we normally do, but stay tuned for part two where we stayed at this really cool place in another beautiful part of Costa Rica.